Hey there, YouTubers. Welcome back. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. In our last lesson, we learned how to fill this combo box as soon as it starts with a big bunch of employees in a drop-down menu called a combo box here. Uh, it's pretty versatile. And what we filled it with is one... Uh, we the employee ID number followed by a space, hyphen, space, and then whatever is in the employee's name column here. So now we're going to learn how with these option buttons that we've placed to have it dynamically switch over the entire thing and reload it with um, it could be name first and then employee number or it could be employee number and then name on the other side of the hyphen. So let's um, check that out. We're going to open up our hide form in the Visual Basic menu. Of course, we're in Alt F11. That's how we get here, Alt F11. And we have one called Hide Form we've been working on. Now, I don't exactly like how this uh, frame looks. So I'm going to scooch it out, give it a little bit more room here. And we can see that this Option button ends in Employee ID, but it has the words Option Button 1 at the front, so I'll just delete that out. Now it looks a little bit better. Scooch that up. Okay. So, these buttons do nothing and they're not labeled, so we're going to click on the first one and call it uh, OB for option button. Employee, mercy, employee ID. And this one we'll simply just call OB name. Alright, so let's go ahead and rig up our code to include uh, one of these being checked or not. So let's go back to our, what was it called? CMB, whoops, peeking into the future here, aren't we? All right, let's erase these. Okay, user form initialize. So we, we called up a procedure called load CMB to load our combo box. Let's control F and we'll search in the current module for load CMB, no the current project it won't be in this module because the module just includes the user form. So let's hit and find next. Here it is. All right, we're going to add a little bit of a little bit more magic to this one. We're going to say if hide form, because remember that's where the option buttons are located. If hide form dot ob employee ID equals true, then then. So remember, if we're wanting to go by employee ID, then we'll go ahead and go with the one that we already created here. But then we have to say else or otherwise, if it's the other way around, let's copy and paste that. Okay. And say end if into our if else statement here. Now we're not done because if uh, if it is going by employee ID, then this is all fine and good. However, if um, if we're just going, if we want to go by the empl the employee's name first, then we want it to load column two, and then space hyphen space, and then column one. Simple as that. This if then statement will either load this loop or this loop. And it's very simple. So, let's see how that does when the user form initializes. So let's hit F5 and watch it. Uh, oops. Let's hit F5 and watch it go. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Hit, let's play the user form here. Okay, so it's loaded. Uh, I guess it doesn't really know what to do, does it? Because we haven't clicked on either of these. So let's have one of these be uh, true by default. How about this one? Let's go back to the drawing board. Click on this one. Go down to value, which by default is false. We'll make this one be true. And when I click away, this one is selected whenever the user form starts up. So let's hit that. Now it knows to do the... Now, 
uh, you'll notice that if I click on name or employee ID, it doesn't do anything. Why? Because we don't have anything that tells it to do that code. When you click on one of these options, it only loads when the whole user form is initialized or started. So let's put a click event that it'll load the same um, sub whenever you click here or click here, just as well as when it initializes. Let's do that. So close out that. Let's double click here and just copy and paste this. We want to call the load CMB procedure whenever that is clicked. Also when this is clicked, we want to call the load CMB. So now let's try that. Hit, hit the play button. So now we see that currently uh, it did it by this. But if we click here, you will notice that Oh, well, it didn't erase the original ones, did it? It just put the names at the bottom and added it to the list. So if you kept doing that, it would actually just add a gazillion entries. So let's fix that. A lot of maintenance, isn't there? we got to go back to our load CMB, which is in module 5. And we need to, as right before the loops, we need to say hide form dot CMB employee dot clear. That will clear it out each time it is run. So now without further ado let's finally get this going. Hit play. So we click on there. Now if we want to do it by name now everything switched to name first and then the space hyphen space and then the employee ID. Why is that useful? It's useful if if you know their employee ID you could switch it over to that and it rebuilds the list. Let's say 0212. Okay, so it already loaded this. I was staring right here, I believe. Uh, so his name is Fake12Guy. Okay, but what if we switched over to name and we only knew his last name, which was Guy. Um, so if we knew it was Guy Fake12 and it switched over to finding that spot in our list. So you could do that if you knew. Or Builder, Bob the... <laughs> so anyway, that's how we switch it over dynamically to load up either by name or by employee number. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching.